Hey guys, Alex here. Today we're gonna to go over my portfolio website. And this is something I've been teasing for about a month or so. I, I've actually had this done for like over a month. It's just, uh, I've been waiting to release it because I have you know material on there such as my app screenshots and app name and things like that. And I didn't really wanna release the portfolio website. So today you will find out my app name and like app features and things like that. And I still plan to release that app. Today you can check out a preview. I have it all trademarked and patented, so you guys can see the name, you guys can see the features, etc. So I will be launching that at some point. I'm trying to decide on some things regarding that. Uh, today we'll go over my portfolio website, which has my projects. Uh, it's a very clean HTML and CSS website. So I decided to skip JavaScript entirely, which I would never usually do. Uh, unless it's a portfolio website. This would be like the one instance where I would skip JavaScript. So uh, just HTML, CSS, very clean, very minimal. And I'm going to show you guys that in a second. I'll take you through the website. It's alexshep.com. Um, and yeah, I think it's a pretty clean website. And you guys can comment down below what you guys think of it. And I'm going to sell uh, this template as well. So it'll be $79 in the description if you want to buy it. Um, I know some people will probably grumble about that, but... I am, you know, offering it to you guys. I've given away free content for over 20 years. So yes, I can sell things here and there. Um, but yeah, we'll check it out. We'll see if you guys like it and it could definitely help you out as well. You can either buy the template in the description or you can make your own or you can uh, find a template on like WordPress. There's many avenues you can go, but I highly recommend having a portfolio website like your first last name.com. It's very important. Uh, LinkedIn is saturated. You have to stand out from the crowd somehow, and this will make you look very professional. So we'll dive into mine right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the website and let me know what you guys think of the app down below as well. So um, my app is, you know, already approved in the app store. It's already, uh, already ready to go. I'm just waiting on some things if I want to change some things, etc. So let's, let's dive into my portfolio website right now. All right, guys, here we are in the uh, portfolio website I designed. Um, so up here, you'll have your photo in the top left. This is like a little sidebar I have developed here. Um, this is Arc Browser, my favorite browser. Really, really good for development and working on multiple projects. So you got your name and your title here or your, whatever you want your title to be. And then you'll have in the center here your portfolio. And when you buy this, it would not say the uh, the name Shep right here, it'll just say portfolio, which will be more centered in the middle here. So you'll see that I only designed this in HTML and CSS because I wanted to see how far I can go without JavaScript. I wanted to see how minimal I can make this website. And, you know, I think I did a pretty decent job. So you click my about me and you can read this about me if you want. I'm not going to really go over it, uh, but you can decide to read that if you choose to. Uh, here we go with education. Uh, same thing, this won't have your name if you buy the template and the education will be more centered in the middle here. Um, so I have a bachelor's degree from Thomas Edison State University and I'm almost done with my software engineering master's from WGU. I'm pretty excited. I'm actually on my final class as of today. You go to my brands page and this is my official app name, Uniboost. So I was going to reveal this when I launched the app, but I can reveal it now. As like I said, everything is protected and trademarked and all of that stuff. So uh, there is my app name, Uniboost. Uh, go to college courses here. You can check out all of my college courses I've taken. I'll be adding my master's courses to this page as well too. Uh, professional training, my iOS programming training I did at University of California, San Diego. And then if you guys wanna contact me, there's a little contact page here. And I will be adding another page called AI Projects at some point. I'm working on a lot of AI projects. So I'm gonna put AI Projects underneath iOS Projects here. So here's my uh, iOS Projects page. I've already shown you guys the Dragon Ball Z app I made. It's like, this is just like a, a hobby app and maybe for like job purposes too. Like, hey, here's an app I made. This app will never go on the App Store for a uh, if I was going to put it on the app store, I'd make it a little better. And, you know, the, the trademark, right? I don't own the Dragon Ball Z trademark and all of that stuff. So I could probably put it up there, but definitely can't uh, monetize it anyhow, anyway. So you guys have seen that. I actually made a video of that app. 
Entry Engineers, another app I'm working on. I already have a website called Entry Engineers, you guys know, and I'm working on an app too. You guys can see the little preview. I, I haven't worked much on this because I've been so busy with other apps and other projects and AI projects. So I haven't really put too many hours into this, but here's the initial concept. Basically, you'd have your easy, medium, and hard coding problems. And I even put a little coding IDE in here too. So Uniboost, you, finally got, you guys finally get to see a preview of my application. I know you guys have wanted to see a preview for a very long time, and this is the preview. You guys can read the uh, key features here. Basically pick a program, and the algorithm has a patent behind it as well. Um, so basically here would be the schedule that you would put in. Here's the transcript, which will go over your GPA, your credits, your your degrees, and this works for any college. It doesn't matter what college you are. The transcript will work for anything. And the great thing about this app is it's, I never see your information. The app never sees your information. It's stored locally on your device. So the only downside with that is if you delete your app, uh, everything would reset. So anytime you get a new phone, you'd want to do the migration method to keep all your app data. But yes, everything is private. There's no accounts. Um, there's no nothing. You know, so it's uh, no email, no nothing. Completely privacy focused, which is where I want the future to go in tech. I want the future to be completely privacy focused in tech. Here's your ACE credit page. And I think this app could help out ACE credit platforms big time and the schools as well. I think it could drive a lot of traffic everywhere. I think the whole space could really benefit from it. Um, you have your calculators on savings, uh, salary simulator, which I worked really hard on, uh, it's 401k simulator. And then you pick a school here. Like I said, I wanted to make a video as I launched the app. I didn't want to do a preview, but since it's taking so long, I decided to give you guys a preview instead. I know it kind of ruins the surprise a little bit and kind of ruins the mystique, but and you guys can drop a comment down below if you like the design. There's the WGU page. Here is the course preview page. Populate ACE credits. So, I, the, I'm still deciding what I want to make this app. So, I have been doing a WG degree for the past two months and I'm going to do an entire master's degree in two months. Okay. I'm going to do an entire WG master's degree in two months. And it's kind of made me rethink some things. Like I, I have a lot of ideas floating in my head. Well, the initial idea and concept for this is universities and ACE credits combined uh, showcase like all the universities showcase all the ACE credit platforms, um, have a built-in transcript, et cetera, et cetera. Right. You know, I'm kind of rethinking this, like maybe even possibly just like, a, you know, maybe not a WGU exclusive app, but, you know, I believe in ACE credits fully. I've preached ACE credits on my channel like forever. Uh, I really believe in ACE credits and I, I think you guys should all sign up and go get ACE credits. Um, you know, the great platforms, you can graduate college really fast. You can get 90 ACE credits in like six months. I think they're really useful and they're especially useful for math. Um, however, doing 10 WGU, 10 WGU courses, 10 WGU master's courses in possibly two months, you know, it's like, Hmm, you know, it does kind of make me rethink, like maybe I should make this just a WGU exclusive app, or do I need to put the ACE credits in here if we can do WGU courses this fast? Um, I know Ryan over at I give people free shout outs all the time. I've never spoken to Ryan, but I'm sure you guys have seen Ryan's channel. He talks about degree hacking and degree boosting and these things as well. And one of the things he covers too is like he, uh, he believes in ACE credits, but he prefers this method of just going straight to the school, especially if it's WGU, because you can get courses done in WGU in two, three days each. So you can get the courses done the same time frame as the ACE credit platforms. Uh, so it's a very interesting dilemma. Like I'm still debating what I want to do here, but I do plan on launching this app at some point. 
Um, and I would really, really appreciate if you guys check it out. It'll be an iOS app at first, but I can port it to Android after six to nine months if it's a success. And I look forward to launching it. I came up with this name on my own, UniBoost. Uh, no AI help, no friend help, nothing. I came up with this on my own. I thought it sounded cool. I must have went through like 700 names, like uh, so many names, you know. I thought UniBoost sounded pretty great. Let me know if you guys like the name in the comments. Uh, I apologize if I'm slightly low energy in this video. I kind of just woke up not too long ago. Um, long night of work. So let, let me know what you guys think about this. I would really, really appreciate it. I've worked really hard on this app, and I do plan to release it pretty soon. Like I said, I'm just deciding what kind of model I want to go with. Uh, this is a fully independent app where I am the sole developer. And I made it for you guys, my audience. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to buy this template, feel free in the description down below. I'll also have some other videos coming up this week. I've got a WGU video coming up in the next couple days. I have a study.com video coming up in the next few days. I've got a lot of videos coming up. It'll show you how to graduate faster as always. You know, it's kind of what I've always been trying to show you guys is graduate faster, save money, change your life. Okay. So I do want to get more into career videos too, like how to get these careers after you graduate, right? Because a lot of you that start watching me, you graduate and then I want you guys to keep watching me. I want you guys to succeed. So I do want post-graduation content as well, which, you know, will help you guys apply for jobs, help you guys, you know, all of that stuff. And that's why I'm working on the entry engineer app, uh, which will go over interview questions, uh, hard coding interview questions. And I think that would be very useful for anybody trying to get a tech job, especially software engineer or data engineer. So I think that app would provide a lot of, uh, a lot of use to you guys too. So maybe even more so than, than this app I'm about to launch. So I have a lot of good projects coming. I'm working on some AI projects. Um, I'm working on an edge AI project where the AI would solely live in your browser client side. All the AI bots you see right now, like ChatGPT and Claude and all these uh, large language models you see, they are server side, right? They're not using your computer's resources. Uh, the AI I'm developing would use your computer's resources and live uh, client side. So obviously you would need a good computer for this to work if I decide to use like a really, really good model. So if I decide to use a worse model, then anyone's computer will work. And I'll probably start out using like a worse AI model so everybody can see it working. Or I'll have like two different models, like a really bad one or not really bad, but like, you know, not great. And then like a really, really good model. So, and then everybody can use that one. And then people with really good computers can use the more advanced model, which would be dependent on your own resources. I'm really fascinated with edge AI. It's the thing I want to get into right now. And the thing I'm learning the most right now. So I value WGU for showing me more AI. I just did a few AI courses there and um, I learned a lot and I really appreciate the knowledge. So I would highly recommend you guys go check out WGU, their computer science master's degree with an AI focus and their software engineering master's, which is what I did also with an AI focus. So you guys can check out those degrees. This will be the video for today, guys. Once again, uh, there's an app preview. You can check out all the screenshots and let me know down below. Like, I'm actually really curious what you guys think of the name. I'm really curious what you guys think of the logo. I'm really curious what you guys think of the UI of the app. Um, just let me know down below what you guys think because I worked pretty hard on it. And let me know if you have any future ideas. Do you want to see my entry engineer app? Do you want to, what do you want to see me make? Is there anything you want to see me make? Let me know and I'll try to come up with it when I have time. So I'd like to thank you guys. Uh, if you want to buy the template, once again, it's in the description. Thank you guys as always. Please like, subscribe, comment if I helped you in any way. Okay, when you do that, more people see the video as the algorithm. Oh, look at all these likes, look at all these comments, and then the algorithm will push the video out further. The number one thing actually is comments. That's the number one algorithm. Uh, the number one thing that makes the algorithm happy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Thank you.